Hey guys, what is going on? It is Brett's iPod Help, and today I'm going to show you how to enable custom boot logos for iOS 4.3 or 4.3.1. So for this to work, your device should be jailbroken. Uh, this does not work with an unjailbroken device. Now if you have already jailbroken your device with Red Snow, like a previous version, say RC9, um, you don't have to worry about having to restore or anything. Uh, you can just overlap. It's no big issue. It won't cause any problems with your device. Now if you're not jailbroken, you can continue watching this video. I will show you how to jailbreak with the latest version of Red Snow, which is Red Snow 0.9.6 RC12. Now I'll have the link in the description below as to how you can download it and it is for both Mac and PC I'll have the separate links down below and uh, it does come in a zip file so all you need to do is extract that and you should get this folder just enter into it and then you're going to be needing to um, click it and right click it this is for Windows only and go down to properties and make sure the compatibility is compatible with Windows XP Service Pack 3 once that is set hit OK and now you can enter into Red Snow now that it is loaded up, you should already have downloaded your IPSW for iOS 4.3 or 4.3.1. If you have not downloaded it, I'll have a link in the description below as to how you can download it. It is a trusted site. I've used it for like so long. It's pretty good, so you can download your IPSW there and make sure it's for your device and for your current firmware that you should be on iOS 4.3 or 4.3.1. And once you have downloaded that, just hit browse and then you should see your device firmware right here. In my case it is iPod 4 comma 1 underscore 4.3.1 so once that is selected hit OK or open and it should process the firmware. This should take a little while and oh actually there you go. IPSW successfully identified so once that is shown here you can just hit next and it should prepare jailbreak data. Now that it is finished processing the jailbreak data, you will notice that you now have a new option right here, which is allow boot animation. So you want to select that and you will get this animation warning. With this option enabled, you can install boot animations from Cydia. Don't forget to select the desired boot animation with settings and then boot logo. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So you can just hit OK. And uh, if you want, you can install Cydia if you're not jailbroken. Uh, and you can also enable battery percentage. Now if you're on an iPhone or say an iPod Touch third generation, uh, you may have a few different options here. If you just want a simple uh, jailbreak or you just want simply to um, add boot animation, uh, just select the things that I have here. Um, it may be different on some devices as I said, but and all devices should have install Cydia and allow boot animation. So once you have selected that, you can just hit next and then uh, I'll be switching to my camera so I can show you better how to enter DFU mode. So before we continue, I should also let you know that this does not work for the iPad 2. So if you're an iPad 2 user and you are watching this video, uh, just stay away. Don't use this uh, this uh, way of jailbreaking uh, since it is not supported at this time. It may be jailbroken in a week or so, so stay tuned for that. And anyways, let's move on with how to enable boot animation slash jailbreak. So what you're going to need to do is just shut off your device. So power off and then just wait for the spinning wheel to uh, finish up. Uh, just don't go any further until you see this little spinning wheel disappear. So we'll just wait till the screen is completely black and uh, you should be good to go. So there you go, it is now completely black. And now you can just go ahead and click next. But before we do that, I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of what you're gonna need to do. Okay, so now that your device is powered off and you have this black screen, what I want you to do is now hold the home and power button for about 10 seconds. Then after that 10 seconds is up, release the power button, but keep holding the home button for about another five seconds. So uh, the reason why I do this instead of the on-screen instructions that Red Snow gives is because this is just faster and it does the same thing. So um, here we go, we're gonna do this now. So home and power button for 10 seconds now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the power button. Four, five, and 
to actually just wait until you hear some activity on your PC. And there you go, I just heard my little beep. And uh, so now all you need to do from here is just click next on your computer on Red Snow. So click next and it should start jailbreaking. And waiting for iPod Touch and now exploiting with Lime Rain. So you should see a white uh, flash on the screen. So there you go. Now that it is jailbreaking and installing the uh, animation boot logos pack, uh, you're good to go. So I'm going to cut scene till uh, my device powers up. So now my iPod has booted up successfully and I have also gone ahead and I've downloaded a random boot logo. So all you need to do is just go slide to unlock, go to settings, and then scroll down until you see boot logo so tap this and uh, here is my boot logo that I have downloaded so we can just preview it here so that's what it looks like and now let's just restart my iPod to see if it works so we should see in a second here that the little boot animation should kick in there we go so it now is switched from the Apple logo to the Red Snow Pineapple. So this has been Brett's iPod Help, showing you how to enable custom boot logos for iOS 4.3 or 4.3.1 using the latest release of Red Snow 0.9.6 RC12. So if you liked this video, please subscribe. Also, it helps me out a lot. Please like this video and uh, comment down below if you have any issues with this. I will try and help you as best I can. And uh, as always, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.